What up, YouTube? Team Movies here. Now, here is my uh, opening slash streaming segment, which, this, by the way, this is actually going to be my last uh, opening slash streaming segment of the year until, like, January rolls around. So, I mean, 2020 has been, let's, let's be real, it's been dreadful. Well, there are lots of really interesting stuff to come out this week, though. So, with that being said, here are what's coming out uh, this week. Alright, comics to both HBO Max and theirs, we got the big one, and that is Wonder Woman 1984. Now, I'm still a little disappointed that, uh, you know, I mean, it's still going to theirs, but New York City theirs are still not open or anything. What I'm probably going to do is maybe uh, check out, like, watch uh, Wonder Woman 1984 on uh, HBO Max, and hopefully, God forbid, you know, uh, um, Lord, uh, Lord uh, Cuomo will reopen the uh, theirs, and then hopefully, uh, and... You know, maybe I'll go ahead and watch uh, Wonder Woman 1984 in theirs, uh, down the line. But, anyway. That aside, I'm still looking forward to checking out Wonder Woman 1984, because I really quite like the first film. It was really fun. Uh, the sequel actually looks even better, so I cannot wait to check this one out. You know, you got Gal Gadot, you got Chris Wig in this. I, I think this looks like it's going to be really good. I mean, Patty Jenkins, of course, directing, returning to direct is pretty cool, so there's that. Alright. Uh, coming to Disney Plus, we got Soul. Sadly, Disney Plus is not pulling a uh, HBO Max and releasing this thing uh, to Deers and uh, Disney Plus. It's just going to, uh, straight to HBO uh, to uh, Disney Plus. That aside, I'm still looking forward to check out uh, Soul. The trailers have looked terrific. It's a Pixar movie, so I'm looking forward to check this one out regardless because I love Pixar. So yeah, I can't wait to check this one out. I mean, you got Jamie Foxx, Tina Fey. Uh, you got some really interesting voice cast in this. It has a bit of an inside out uh, feel to it, so can't wait to check this one out. Alright, coming to Netflix, uh, we got We Can Be Heroes, where if, uh, alien invaders kidnap Earth superheroes. Their uh, children must team up and uh, learn to work together if they want to save their parents and the world. Now, this is directed by Robert Rodriguez, and not to mention, uh, it does take place in the same universe as Sharkboy and Lava Girl. I mean, Sharkboy and Lava Girl are actually in this. And the film also has Pedro Pascal, which, by the way, Pedro Pascal is also in Wonder Woman 1984. I mean, you know, pretty cool that uh, Mandalorian recently just uh, finished its season. And it's interesting that uh, Pedro Pascal, uh, you know, still has some stuff coming out this week that's not Mandalorian related. So I think that's pretty cool. So, yeah, I cannot wait to check out uh, We Can Be Heroes. I mean, it's Rob Rodriguez, so I'm definitely looking forward to check out regardless. So. And the trails have looked really solid. All right, coming to the, uh, co coming to Netflix uh, that just premiered this week. We've got The Midnight Sky, uh, d directed by George Clooney, and uh, Clooney also stars in the film as well. It's about a lone scientist in an Arctic uh, races to uh, contact a crew of astronauts returning home to a mysterious global catastrophe. This also stars uh, Felicity Jones. You also got David uh, Aoyalo. This looks okay. I mean, it's sad to say I'm not really too excited for it because it's... It's sad to say it's directed by George Clooney and his last two directing outings, uh, which was Monuments Men and Suburbicon, were both pretty terrible. So, I don't know, I'm hoping this is good. I mean, it's premiered this week, so I'll probably check it out when I head, uh, back, uh, head back home. But I'm still looking forward to checking this one out because, you know, I do like the cast. I do like a good space film. So, I'll give this one a go. All right. Coming to theirs, we got News of the World, directed by Park Greengrass. Where uh, after five years after the end of the Civil War, Captain John Jefferson Kyle Kidd, played by uh, Tom Hanks, crosses path with a 10-year-old uh, girl taken by the Kauai people. Forced to return to her aunt and uncle, Kidd uh, agrees to escort the uh, child across the harsh and for unforgiving plans, plains of Texas. Now, this is directed by Paul Greengrass, who also directed uh, Tom Hanks in uh, Captain Phillips. Greengrass also directed... Uh, some of the Bourne movies. Uh, he did um, United 93. He also did uh, uh, he did, he, he's done a lot of really cool stuff. I can't remember everything he's done. But uh, he also did that movie uh, with uh, Matt Damon at Green Zone. I mean, he's a pretty cool director. So, I mean, I'm looking forward to checking this one out because it's Tom Hanks uh, teaming up with um, with his Captain Phillips co uh, director, which if you guys have never seen Captain Phillips, that movie is awesome. So, yeah, looking forward to checking out News of the World. All right, coming to theirs, we got Promising Young Woman. Nothing in Casey's life is what it appears to be. She's wickedly smart, uh, cunning, and she's living a secret double life by night. 
But an unexpected encounter is about to give Casey a chance to uh, right the wrongs from the past. Now this has a really interesting cast. You've got the likes of uh, Christopher Miss Plus. You've got uh, Sam Richardson in this. You've got Adam Brody. Uh, you've got Bo Burnham is in this film. Jennifer Coolidge. I mean, you guys have really saw uh, A-list talents in this. I am really looking forward to checking this one out because it looks very uh, interesting. I mean, this is a really interesting film for the Me Too era, so there's that. I quite like Harry Mulligan. She's always terrific, so look forward to checking this one out. Uh, coming to theaters, we've got the new Pinocchio film, uh, which is directed and starring uh, Roberto Benigni. Now, of course, uh, the last time Roberto Benigni uh, starred in a Pinocchio film was a pretty terrible one. But, I mean, I really quite like uh, Roberto Benigni. I mean, uh, of course, he won an Oscar uh, before. Uh, I mean, I do like me a good Pinocchio story. I mean, Pinocchio is a timeless tale, so this looks like it could be really uh, interesting to watch. I mean, it's interesting to see a Pinocchio film that is not, you know, Disney-related, so that's pretty cool. So, yeah, look forward to checking this one out. Uh, all right, coming to uh, Amazon, um, well, actually, really, to Deers and Amazon in uh, January, we got One Night in Miami, which is directed by uh, Regina King, and uh, it's on, it, here's what's that. On the night of February 25th, 1964, in Miami, Cassius Clay, of course, uh, who ended up becoming Muhammad Ali, joins Jim Brown, Sam Cooke, and Malcolm X as they discuss the responsibility of being successful black men during the Civil Rights Movement. This actually looks really interesting. I mean, uh, you got the actor who recently just uh, played uh, Barack Obama in that, uh, in that, um, Chromey, uh, Showtime series. I, uh, Regina King, I mean, she's always really talented, so look for a check this one out. I mean, you also got uh, Leslie Odom Jr. is in this. I, I think this looks really terrific, so can't wait to check this one out. All right, coming to Amazon, we got Sylvie's Love, uh, which stars Tessa Thompson, uh, who plays a character named Sylvie, who has a summer romance with a saxophonist who takes a summer job at her father's uh, record store in Harlem. When they reconnect years later, they discover that their feelings for each other have not uh, faded uh, with years. It, uh, it looks really interesting. You also got uh, Ava Longoria in this. Uh, you've got Wendy McCullough Covey. Uh, I mean, this definitely looks very like an interesting romance film. Uh, I always quite like Tessa Thompson, so I'll just watch her in anything. I think this looks like it could be really interesting to watch on Amazon. All right, uh, also coming to Netflix, we got The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, the final season. And we also got uh, Netflix's new... Uh, New Mark Mary tired Death to 2020 because I cannot wait for 2020 to be over. Anyway, lots of it really interesting stuff uh, premiering this week. I mean, uh, let me leave you guys. Which of these are you interested in checking out? Are you interested in uh, checking out Wonder Woman 1984? Are you looking for to check out So, News of the World, Pinocchio? Instead, drop the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu, sign out.